In 2014, Massachusetts clinicians wrote over 4.4 million Schedule II and III prescriptions, worth over 240 million pills. I should remind everybody that we only have 6.5 million people in the Commonwealth of Mass. In the same year, over 1,200 people died of opioid overdoses. Simply put, the status quo is unacceptable and it needs to be disrupted. That's why police chiefs, medical school students, behavioral health and substance abuse providers, sheriffs, local officials, and many other members of the clinician and healthcare community support our proposals, even though they are, in some cases, controversial. I support the bill because I know from personal experience that to get people the help they need, we have to meet them where they are, whether it's on the streets, in the hospitals, at home, at work, or at school. Health starts with education. This bill provides a tool to help educate parents and children about the dangers of misusing opioids. And I'm grateful that it provides a transportation plan for students attending Recovery High School. Help means prevention, and I agree with the governor. A common sense limit on first time opioid prescription would provide an effective checkpoint to manage the flow of addictive narcotics into our homes and our communities. The bill is bold, it's innovative, and as the governor already stated, it makes crystal clear that the status quo will not suffice. Problem, uh, changes need to occur, and the first of those changes concerns prescribing practices. As you've heard before, the United States has less than 5% of the world's population, but consumes 80% of the world's opioid supply. To address that problem, this bill puts in place education requirements for prescribers, seeks to increase the use of the prescription monitoring program, and sets a general limit on most opioid prescriptions. We're confident that the Department of Public Health will work with the medical community to implement and, if necessary, refine that 72-hour limit. But as a general matter, there can be no doubt that additional safeguards on opioid prescribing are necessary.